What's up, y'all? Coach John here at CrossFit Liberate. Today is Thursday, October 29th, and I've got another at-home workout for you. So this one's called Time After Time. So this is a fun little play on a benchmark workout called Cindy. We're gonna take kind of an interval style look at Cindy, and we're gonna go three five-minute AMRAPs with one minute of rest in between. And with that time domain and that built-in rest, we're probably gonna be moving a little bit faster than we would during our typical Cindy. And then scoring wise, we're gonna go for rounds and reps on each AMRAP. We'll take our score for all the three, add them all up, and that'll be our final score. And then with our movements and variations, we're looking to try to get about one round every minute. So make sure you adjust accordingly. All right, let's take a look at our warm up for time after time. We're gonna go one minute each of an active Samson plus an air squat. So finish that Samson stretch on that leg, pop up into a shoulder width stance, hit your air squat, and then back into the other side for that Samson. We'll head down to the floor for shoulder taps, trying to resist that rotation. Next is lateral squats, nice stretch for that lower body. Push-ups to down dog. And then finishing with wall facing squats. With these wall facing squats, make sure that you get it close enough to the wall to where it's a challenge to stay upright, but not too close to where you touch the wall. For mobility work today, we're gonna go one minute per side of a prone pec stretch. And then we'll hop up and grab either a pole or a door jam or something like that to provide some support for us to stay in the bottom of a squat and really open up our squat position for about one minute here. All right, let's take a close look at time after time. So we have three five minute AMRAPs separated by one minute of rest. Each AMRAP will be nine push ups, 15 odd object rows and 21 air squats. So today's interval style workout is a play on the benchmark workout, Cindy. Your score for each five minute AMRAP is total rounds and reps completed. Your final score will be these three scores added together. Ideally, we're picking a rep number or variation that allows for at least five rounds or one round on the minute. With a little bit of built-in rest and less overall time, our pace will be slightly faster than if we were completing Cindy as prescribed, which is a 20 minute workout. And the constant rotation from upper pull to upper press to lower press will also allow for a higher intensity throughout. For those odd object bent over rows, let's ideally choose a number and object loading that allows for unbroken sets throughout. Reducing the number can help meet this recommendation if loading is fixed or difficult to change. With such short windows to work within, breaking excessively here means less time moving forward. With your push-ups, choose a rep number or variation that allows you to clear this station in one break per round. Chest must touch the floor at the bottom of each rep, and the elbows must fully extend at the top of each rep. With your air squats, let's ensure full range of motion while moving quickly through this easier station of the three. Hip crease gets below the knee on each rep, and we stand up tall with hips and knees locked out at the top of each rep. And as always, further movement subs and modifications are in the video description below. All right, let's take a close look at our movements here, starting with the odd object rows. Here we want to think about the elbows. Our focus today on all these movements will be the elbows. On the odd object rows, keep those elbows in tight to the body to avoid putting your shoulders into a painfully internally rotated position. When you finish each row, think about squeezing those shoulder blades together by pulling the elbows up and in as high as you can. With your push-ups, we want the elbows to track back behind the body at a 45 degree angle off the torso. This position is safer and provides better leverage than an elbows out position where they flare to the sides. It can be helpful to think about this view as the same natural elbow position you would use during a run. At the top of each rep, let's also ensure the elbows reach full extension to hit the range of motion standards. And then on the elbows with the air squats, the elbows here can help keep your chest up in the air squat in a similar way that driving the elbows up keeps the chest up in the barbell front squat. Pressing the arms up and away from the body can provide a slight counterbalance, allowing for better mechanics. This can help prevent any rounding over or caving in of the upper body during the squat, which also makes it easier to breathe during the movement. 
All right, so with this workout strategy wise, your biggest sticking point is most likely gonna be those upper body movements and especially the push-ups. So if you see yourself breaking up the push-ups at any point, go ahead and break them up right from the beginning and stem the tide of that fatigue a little bit further down. Don't be holding to yourself to any one breakup strategy. Um, you can try to hit some fives, some fours, some threes, whatever allows you to continue to make forward progress. And then with the air squats, those kind of represent an opportunity for you to, number one, catch your breath, and number two, shake out those arms, get that upper body back in order before we go back to those movements. So if your upper body is getting really fatigued and tired, slow those air squats down, we'll have a little bit more recovery time. On the flip side, if you're still feeling good with those upper body movements, look to push the pace on those air squats. All right, y'all, make sure you really get after this workout. As always with CrossFit, our goal is to bring intensity to our work. That's where the results lie. And then make sure that you're tracking your progress somehow, whether it's through just a simple notebook or an app like SugarWad. We wanna be showing progress over time. Our biggest competition is just gonna be ourselves. That's what we're looking for. And then if you're looking to come back to the gym real soon, I cannot wait to coach you in real life.